I guess I better go towards my destiny or whatever the hell this is. Hello everyone and welcome to July! That means that it's time for the month of independence. That's right, I'm going with the same theme because I like it, where I just do indie games, because indie games need more love. This title is They Grew Lungs and Drowned. Yeah, nice name for a game, isn't it? Horror game, of course. Horror-ish, anyway. And it's first person, because... Let's be real, first person is easy to program. But third person, you gotta worry about a camera that can clip through things and all sorts of other issues. It's just easier to do first person. And arguably more immersive, too, which is why so many horror games opt for it. Because you're seeing through the character's point of view, you know? Nice blank signs. You know, giving you the illusion that there might be something. Although there's Japanese lettering in the background. Okay. What the? Hey! What are you doing here? I really don't care, but that big guy in the sky told me that I have to ask. Oh yeah, take this mask. The fish don't take kindly to strangers. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. What a nice, freaky cat demon. Oh, there he is. It is. They are. Hey, buddy. You better get going. The fish don't like toddlers much, either. Thanks, lunch meat. You're a good cat, aren't you? cat monster thing. I wonder what those Japanese letters spell out. I cannot speak Japanese, and I definitely cannot read Japanese writing. Not even Romanized. How dare you not conform to me. Also, what's this? Water. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'll cut you a deal. Find me a fish, a single goddamn living fish, and I'll send you up to the dam to get whatever you need sorted out. Okay. What the hell? Uh, what's with the floating face you have next to your non-mouthed face? This is getting freaky. But hey, what do you expect? Huh? Probably right here. I found your fish for you. He's right here. You're welcome. Yeah! Aha, yes, my sleeper agent took you long enough. There's not much time to explain, but I assure you. Peristaltic movements are too short for the dialogue box. Besides, I'm going on a picnic, and I've got to have some table manners. Chapter 2. Paralysis Boy. What is the opposite of murder? Birth? Attempted murder? Murder as a favor for a friend? Not sure. Press E to enter. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. It's like a normal mapping. Except it's literally the normal map... Normal map texture is a diffuse texture. Or an albedo texture, I guess is what they call them now. Also, no Z-depth. At least improper Z-depth. I know how the effects work, but it's still pretty cool to see it in action. Also, nice draw distance there. That's nice. Those tears. Okay. Aren't you quite the specimen? I suppose I should introduce myself, but you already know my name. Yeah, because of the dialogue box. You're the usher. Regardless, you are indeed quite ill. Follow me. Okay. Careful not to stray too far now. I hate sand. Why? Is it because it's rough and coarse and irritating and it gets everywhere? Oh, I see. It's like a barrier. It reminds me a lot of gnats nestling into my ears and eyes. Your, don't get your bubble too far away from me now. 
would say this is like one of those things where walking is too slow and running is too fast. It's unpleasant. But even walking is technically faster. Well, at least um, I don't have to have any trouble keeping up, do I? I'm just gonna hug you. Is that okay? I'll just clip right through your body. How's that sound? But if I'm walking, then I don't clip through the body. It's almost as if the collision detection... I'd like to formally thank you for accompanying me here. Go now, you are ill. Uh, thanks, Alex. Alex the Great. I know you're not actually Alex the Great, but that eyeball reminds me of Alex the Great. I warned you. Ahem. When you're down in the mouth and life's a pain. Chapter 3, uh... Occipital appendicitis. How does it feel to be the sickest kid in town? It's all right. They don't know. I won't tell. Press C to check into this game. <laughs> Hello. Why do you have Japanese lettering on your torso? That appears to be in some kind of sandstone. Why is there some kind of gate? To just brick wall. This looks like something someone threw together when learning how to make 3D models. Damn, no reception. Take my elevator key if you want, miss. I'll be here for a while. Well, we learned something about our character. We play as a miss. As in, this is... I am sure I'm missing all the references here. Pretty Kitty Cat Ward. Okay. Hey there. Isn't the view just darling? What makes a house a home? Brick and foam, lovely brick and foam. Okay. What is with the sweating doors, or the crying doors, or whatever they're doing? I'd hate to think they're doing something else. Found a key. Hey, you want a key? Oh, Shaw, I left the kids unattended, didn't I? Probably. Isn't this view just darling? Emergency polio ward. What? What's going on here? This game is getting weirder by the second. Hello. Hello, bird. Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. But apparently the bird hasn't heard about us. Oh, that's lovely. Let's get you back on track. Radiology ward. Live. Sounds like a fun, happy little time, doesn't it? I'm afraid. Afraid that I might get too much excitement. Uh, okay. Okay. Look at that, I can open both of the crying doors at once. Aren't I only so magical? Mmm. Permanent food source. Oh yeah, that was the description of the game. Just leave, I can't even stand to look at you. What if I don't want to leave, huh? What if I just stand here? If you can't stand, I'll stand for you. Oh, you're not gonna do anything? I thought it was gonna be like one of those games where if you just de be defiant long enough, there'll be bonus dialogue or something. Like on the Stanley Parable. Honestly, Stanley, I'm very disappointed in you. Stanley was very disappointed by the lack of optional content as he made his way to the roof. Which is weird because we were just told we were amiss. Is that a hat? Hello. Whatever you are. Thanks, do... Oh, you're not my doctor. I'd ask you if you... Okay, I wish you hadn't come up, but now it's all swirling around in a silver-tipped asbestos cloud. Appendix. I didn't even know you yet. I thank you for accompanying me to the end. The end? Is the appendix going to burst? This is the end. 
Chapter 4, The Estrogen Factory Fire. My only friend, the end. Events transpired, blood was shed. A party was thrown, not... That coherence was included in this festivity in the first place, but we'll... Press E to see... What the hell? What even is this right now? This is trippy, man. Oh, it did say estrogen factory. Oh, nice glitching. Was this jazz punk? Because it's giving me a jazz punk vibe. Well, now this is reminding me of the. For some reason, it's reminding me of that tower in Skyrim when you're escaping from Eldruin, the dragon. Except this time, I didn't get suddenly stopped halfway by the dragon crash again. Instead, it just gets all trippy, like Majora's Mask. And then simplistic. Like older arcade games. What the hell? Whoa, 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 hey! Okay then. I guess I made it to this tree anyway. Anything to do with this? No, probably not. This uh, texture moving. I guess I should probably go this way. That's probably what the game wants. Like the floor was moving independently of these squares. But that couldn't be. That couldn't be at all. Chapter 5 Orange Seed Coordinates. When I was small, I was eating an orange in the bathtub and it had at least 20 seeds in it. I wasn't allowed out because my mom had always told me once I was out of the tub I wouldn't be allowed back in. So I ate each and every one of the seeds in that damned bathtub. Press E to go there. What the? This is trippy. Oh no, it's you again. What's that? Looks like Napoleon's chair on Psychonauts. I am Napoleon Bonaparte! Hello. This is trippy, man. Really trippy. Well, I guess I better go towards my destiny or whatever the hell this is. I'm gonna try to come up with some kind of logical story for this. Finn, does that mean it's over? Does that mean this really is my only friend, the end? I need to figure out what this Japanese lettering says. Sadly, I do not speak Japanese, but I do speak English, and Finn usually means end. End of the road, Jack. Oh, this is just lovely. It's either... A dog house or a bird house? Probably a bird house. People. Uh, a tree? A key. The key to this tree is the unity of the bird house. That's my made up sentence. Well, let's go out of here. A game by supposedly spooky. Well, supposedly spooky, I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the lungs they grew that resulted in their drowning, apparently. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and very pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.